want to show you how to clean uh, hogs hair filters. These are a permanent filter and you're supposed to clean them about every 30 days. Now I'm probably at like, you know, a little bit more than that, but 30 days is good. But uh, before you change any filter or clean any filter, you can see all this hair that's collected on the grill. What you want to do is either go and turn your AC on or at least turn the fan on so the fan is sucking in and then you can take a dry paintbrush or a vacuum head brush uh, like this here and you can use your vacuum as well or you can just knock it off and knock all that dust and what it'll do is be sucked into the air filter uh, before you replace it or clean it out. Just a nice way that you'll be starting fresh rather than putting a brand new filter with all this dirt right here. A lot of that dirt will just be brought right into your brand new filter. So I'm going to go turn the fan on, on and uh, knock this off. Okay, so that's kicked it on and I'm just using this dry and just kind of saying taking all that dust and we're just blowing it right to the right to the filter. That way it goes through and I'm not getting my newly clean filter all dirty with that stuff and it just looks much nicer too And it's much better if you don't get this wet. Once it gets wet and mixes with that dust, it's going to turn into like a mud. So it's just a lot nicer to do this when everything's dry and using a dry brush. That's done. We can uh, turn off the fan and then we can take our filters out. Looks like my AC kicked on as well. So I'll go ahead and turn that off. It's got a little bit of a delay before it turns off. So. Yeah. Okay, so we got the filter cover cleaned off. Now we can pull it apart, change our filter. This one just grabbing both sides. It's a little tricky because this one side is a little trickier to get to. But anyway, there would be our filter on the back. Is no big deal, and this one's all one nice piece. Just gonna kind of bend it in half a little bit to take it out of its guide. That way, I don't get all the, the dirt. Yeah, going everywhere. But anything left behind on the grill, we'll go ahead and clean that off. No big deal. Dust it off with my little duster and I can sweep it up later. This way once the filter's clean, we're starting with a nice clean cover inside now. Okay. And if there's any dust uh, in the air handle itself, I forgot to that out as well. It's just to clean things up, but we're looking good there. Air handler, swirl cage, all right. So this one I'm going to take outside and this gives me an excuse to use the water, double I can water the lawn, it's almost after 6 p.m. And because uh, we're in a drought, this will maximize the water and I'll just blast out the cover from this side, from the back to the front, that way I'm getting the most dirt out most effective way. Okay, so I got my filter here. I'm gonna go ahead and 
clean it and I'm going to put this on a gentle setting to begin with. I'm going to go from the back to the front. Yeah, I actually want to do this on the grass so I can go ahead and use that water. So I'll just water the grass. Probably gonna need a higher setting, so it's on a strong screen setting. Just blast it on out of there. This way I'm not wasting any water. I'm using the water to water the lawn. And as much as possible going from the back out. I just like that idea rather than driving the dirt into the hog there and driving it out. are a very effective filter. They pretty much are filtering at a, a good efficiency rate right away. Some of the economy filters, they're nice, but you're, you're uh, not really getting a good filtration right away. It takes actually about 30 to 60 days before you're really getting smaller micron filtration because the filter size is, the holes between is so large. Whereas this is a much denser material and it's filtering out a fairly large amount right away. So just an effective filter media. It's reusable, so something going to be said for that. Alright. Go ahead and change my filter setting back to a more gentle set setting and just kind of rinse off the front, give it a final little bit of rinse. And we'll do this about every 30 days. The grass will be happy and it is a nice green way. It's not harmful to the environment. And, uh, yeah. Nice effective deal. Anyway, that's cleaning up the filter. So I'll let it dry out and put it back in. We'll be good to go. You can put it in right away, but I'd rather let it dry a little bit. Let it air dry, drip dry. Shouldn't take too long. And then I put it back in. We're good to go. Thanks for watching. Come two minutes. Over now. Okay, so got the hogs hair all clean, ready to put it back together, and we just need to make sure the back side goes to the back here, and put it into the filter grid. Just kind of tucking it in, pressing it in on the first side, and then I'll just kind of fold it in half from the center, and work out for the second side. No big deal. ready for the install. So now it'll filter from the opposite side. No big deal. Ready to set it back in its home. 
and get the AC going again because it's actually starting to get kind of toasty. All right, so on this, um, there's these slots up top that go down into these slots here. And uh, of course, this is just for this type of deal. There we go. And now on the bottom one, we fold it out, match them up, and then line up our fill, pop it in place. like one is going to be a little stubborn. There we go. We're all in place. Ready to turn the AC on and yeah, enjoy some nice cool. This one I just got to get this still a little lined up. Okay, now cool and auto. 78's good. Has a five minute delay to protect the compressor. But uh, that's only if you change the temperature after you've turned it off recently. So it just kicked on, we're good to go. Okay, there it is. All nice and clean. Pulling the air through. Cool things off. Thanks for watching. Thank you, man.